Okay, what is the solution of the inequality 2x minus 5, absolute value 2x minus 5, less than or equal to 11? Okay, before we go and, and solve this algebraically, I, I really want to drive home the point that understanding the graphs of these things is uh, really helpful. So we know uh, an absolute value uh, inequality is going to look something like this. That's what an absolute value equation looks like, right? It's a line shaped like a V. And then we have the line y equals uh, 11, which is going to be up here somewhere like this, right? And since it's less than or equal to, that means the intersection points are going to count towards the solution, right? So there and there. And we're basically looking for the values of x such that this graph, this yellow graph, is underneath this green line. And that means we're going to have some range of x's here, right, between these two values of x. And x is going to sit between these two values like this, some value a and some value b. Okay, So that's what our, our final answer is going to look like. Our graph is going to look like this. We're going to have a green line representing y equals 11. And where they intersect those values of x's, x is going to sit exactly between them. So let's pull up the graph and have a look. And here we are. Here's the graph. The blue line is 2x minus 5, right? Blue line is 2x minus 5. There it is. And the red line is y equals 11, because there you can see it sits exactly at 11. And now what we're going to do is just say, OK, where do these guys intersect? Here's one point, and we trace on down. And it turns out it's negative 3, right? negative 3 right there. And then this point over here, the other intersection point, is positive 8. So negative 3 and positive 8, so long as x lives exactly between those two, inclusive, uh, the conditions determined by the problem here are satisfied. So that means our solution is going to look like this. Negative 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 8. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3. x is less than or equal to positive 8. OK, now let's go and do this algebraically. Whenever we have an absolute value inequality, we have to break it into two inequalities. So we're going to have 2x minus 5 less than or equal to 11. We just remove the bars. And we're also going to have 2x minus 5 greater than or equal to negative 11. Okay. So let me drive this down here. And then we just go about solving. Add 5 to both sides. Right? We get 2x less than or equal to 16. We divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get x less than or equal to 8, just like we wanted. Over here, we add 5 to both sides, right? We have 2x greater than or equal to negative 6. We divide by 2. We divide by 2. And we get x greater than or equal to negative 3, which is the second part. Now, putting these together, right, on a number line, we have negative 3 over here. We have positive 8 over here. And anything in this interval, let me use another color, get some yellow in here. Anything in this interval, right, anything in here is going to be a valid solution, right? And this is the x axis, which is exactly what we said here. We basically have, you know, we've kind of zoomed in on this bottom portion of the diagram here. And to bring that graph back again, you can see any value of x that I choose between negative 3 and positive 8, say I pick the value 4, if I trace up, you know, the value of this function is 3, which is clearly less than 11, and so on for any other value here. Okay, the graph was made by GeoGebra, by the way. I've mentioned that in a few of my other videos.